Young Ryan O'Kay, 17 years of age with this set piece for Dundalk. Big men are forward. Sonny Natas, that very likely to be a presence in there. And there's the flick oh. on. Oh, and that's a chance at the back post. A real opportunity for Ole Eric Mitzkogan to open his Dundalk account. He does look like a player who terrorised the fences in terms of work rate, if nothing else. Oh. There's a really good turn. And what an effort oh. that was. And a really good save by James Talbot as well. But acrobatics by David McMillan. Wonderful first touch and a wonderful effort. That's fantastic effort. He's very unlucky. I think he just didn't dip maybe late enough. I think Talbot got the great touch on it. Very, very good save from the keeper. You can see the idea there from Hooray's. It's probably the first time we've seen him get on the ball and get turned, but just that not enough on that true ball. What an encouraging run this is by Jokowskis. Really good. And he's carried on into the penalty area. He's found Mitzkogan here onto that left foot. The shot is well blocked. And a Bohemians player seems to have come off the worst. I think it's Ali Coote who's gone down. But what a run that was by Jokowskis. Here's Ali Coote and he's allowed some space to size this up. Oh, and it's come back off the post. Well, Dundalk just allowed Coote too long. And he almost took full advantage. But the post saving Lundog. Alessio Abibi making plenty of noise on his line. And there's the shot. And it's not a bad one. And it draws a good save it's from Abibi. Save. It was Tyreek Wilson with the effort. Very, very good. First time he's really been called upon. Apart from the one that hit the post really, isn't it? I think it's a, it's a good save. He gets down low and gets a, a good left hand on it. And pushes it away for a, for a corner kick. But a really good save from a good strike. Liam Burt with the corner kick. He's starting to look more influential in a white shirt here. Drills it across. Abibi comes and punches that well. Here's Slogan. And he's given that away cheaply. Here's Liam Burt onto it. He's got a Lua on his outside. Burt fancy going his own way. And he does. And he's drilled that pass, Abibi. Nothing the Dundalk keeper could do about it. But Liam Burt showing what he's all about. Breaking forward and drilling that home. And Bohemians lead by a goal to nil. Yeah, it's sloppy by Slogan. He won't be happy with that crossfield ball I think we, we've mentioned Dundalk maybe being quite wide when they're in possession but that's kind of the danger you have that if you do give it away the space is in the middle to to pounce upon and Bert has done really well it's it's a good a good steal in the middle and he's gone forward and he's finished really well as you said a BB really couldn't do a lot could he lost some players going going out of the club but you've also got some some ta good talent coming in so again they're in the same position looking to try and gel their players together Georgie Kelly, of course, the ex dog player, has pitched up now. Here's a Ryan O'Kane. This could be a great moment for O'Kane. And he's always oh, just put it the wrong side of the post. But a real chance for the youngster to level things up here. He just found himself in behind the post defence. Yeah, and maybe composure slightly letting him down just at the last moment. The dog big men are in there, as you'd expect, to the front post this time. Flicked on. Still there for a Dundalk player, should they manage to make a connection with it Chris Shields from distance on his left foot blocked by Alua David McMillan blocked by Keith Buckley Dundalk still with the possession Ryan O'Kane blocked by Buckley O'Kane into the penalty area well done O'Kane shot saved by Talbot and Bowes should get it away but good stuff again by Dundalk here's Rob Cornwall Andy Lyons Eri Stanton Wins that back well for Dundalk. Here's McMillan. O'Kane holds it up and finds Cameron Domigan. Chris Shields has spotted the player in space on this right-hand side. In Jorkowskis. Now Cleary. Now Shields again. Bit of purpose about this Dundalk attack. Here comes the cross from Jorkowskis. Really oh. good ball. Oh, what an equaliser that is by Dundalk. Absolutely superb. Jorkowskis with the cross in. David McMillan, I think it was, with the finish. And Dundalk have levelled it. Really, really good play. High up the pitch. You can see Dan Cleary getting up high as well, but supporting that play. But what a ball in it is. From Jurakovskis. And as you said, it's, it's good to see two players running out. A junior almost gets it, and you've got McMillan backing him up. And that's for any, any management to see. That's great commitment to try and get into the box and, and, and throw yourself at a ball. But it's a great finish and, and well controlled into the back of the net from McMillan. Jurakovskis to McElhaney. McElhaney, and he spotted the run of it. a Kuhn here. And he's managed to control it. And he's reversed that into the penalty area. Dara Lee looking to challenge. And, well, there was appeals from the Bohemians supporters for a free kick for the push by Dara Lee. I think it was the faintest of pushes, in fairness. Ari again. And that's a nice touch by Ari to Keith Ward. And he was looking for a Lua first time. But a good interception by Andy Boyle. Dara Lee. Patrick McElhaney after it. 
Andy Lyons is there, but he's gifted it to McElhaney. Well, it's McMillan, and now it's McElhaney. And that's a good save by James Talbot. Chris Shields again. Just under 15 minutes left of the 90. Sam Stanton to Dara Leahy. Leahy's cross in. Oh, and there's a goal. It's Val Adetokun with the finish. And he's struck it past James Talbot. Simple enough opportunity, but well worked by Dundalk down the left-hand side. Yeah, it's a good ball in by Leahy, isn't it? He's, he's worked hard to get down the, down the pitch and puts it. It gets a good ball across the six-yard box. Sorry, I didn't want to be on over the announcer there. <laughs> um, but yeah, well-worked goal. Um, last few minutes of the game, still have that quality and still have that high tempo to get up the pitch, which is good to see from Dundalk. But really good finish and really good cross. And indeed, I think it may well have was a junior with the finish. It was junior, it was junior yeah. with the finish. Now Patrick McElhaney. McElhaney with the shot from some distance straight at James Talbot. Overall, I think Dundalk and Bowes would be happy with the performance today. I think it's a, a good run out for both teams, two high quality teams battling it out in, in early in pre season. So, a good run out for both teams today, I think. And that is the final action of the game.